This is allegedly a prototype for McFarlane Toys' take on the Dark Knight Trilogy Christian Bale Batman figure, and we may have to be worried for the 2023 lineup of McFarlane's because of it. Hasbro Marvel Legends was not the only company to take a massive dump on us. <laughs> what? Is that TOS now? They weren't the only company to release a lot of figures and products in the latter half of 2022. McFarlane Toys, in association with DC, they had their hands full and they got quite an awful lot of stuff being released in the past year. Some of them were movie tie-ins, such as the stuff for the Batman and uh, Black Adam in late 2022. We had some game-centric stuff, such as the stuff for Arkham Knight. And then, of course, some of the Page Puncher releases, which I'm a personal fan of because of all the added value with the comic book, the car, the you know the style of packaging and all that and then we cannot forget the revitalized projects they picked up from dc direct to give some new life as retail exclusives and it'd be kind of disrespectful if i didn't talk about what we have to look forward to in 2023 as strictly batman collectors especially after some of the more recent leaks online have kind of started to stir the pot of rumors and speculations as far as what they could be working on right now not only for the early part of the year but also later on in 2023 our first major drop of 2023 technically happened before the year even started. On December 29th, I took to social media to post this video of me discovering the gold label Walmart exclusive versus Vampire Batman and Eradicator figures at one of my local stores along with two of the newest Flash Build the Darkest Night Build a Figure waves. Whether these figures were meant to go up this early is of course up for speculation. I have it on good authority that a good chunk of the employees at all of my local Walmarts and even some Targets they, they don't really care. They're just there to make a quick buck, as the kids like to say, make that bread, and probably overlook the actual street date that these needed to go up on. In the preceding week, McFarlane formally announced the drop of this gold label wave, along with pre-order pages going live for the Blue and Gray Hush Batman, Nightfall Catwoman, Mr. Freeze, and Infinite Frontier Joker. This wave is slated for release in March of 2023. Within just a couple of weeks, even more pre-orders went live for... Gladiator Batman, Kingdom Come Armored Batman, Duke Thomas is the Signal, Arkham Knight Earth 2 Batman, Arkham City the Riddler, and Fornicus McChungus. The year just started and already wallets were being gouged, pre-order notifications were going live, and even some pages weren't loading up for certain people from different retailers as far as Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth. It was almost legitimately becoming too much to handle, but not just for us collectors but also for McFarlane Toys as a few leaks managed to squeeze through the cracks as of late. On January 14th, this image of what allegedly is the Dark Knight Trilogy Bale Batman figure from McFarlane Toys leaked online with many Twitter users and Reddit posters spreading awareness of it. This would harken back to the formal announcement by McFarlane during New York Comic Con late last year that a wave of Dark Knight Trilogy Nolan figures were coming in spring of 2023. There's no mistaking the unofficial nature of the pick, mainly because of certain details that lead many to believe, including myself, of this being an initial prototype. Three key factors stood out to me as far as this being a prototype. One is the one I already mentioned, which is that it's blurry. It's it's very obvious that whoever took this picture, it probably had to be super close up to the picture to, or to the product to make sure that they weren't busted and potentially not only fired, but also kind of sort of sued but the second detail that I extrapolated was the surface that the figure is resting on based on the pattering and the texture or at least the look of the texture it kind of reminds me an awful lot of those workbenches that you find in an awful lot of places that things get manufactured in obviously you know factories even kilns or 3d printing facilities which would definitely follow suit for a company like McFarlane Toys where they're producing or at least mass producing some of these figures and then number three and probably the most important one is going to be those eyes eyes looking like a pug Bat pug. The eyes are probably the biggest giveaway that this is a prototype and not indicative of the final project but this could also lead to a fatal flaw in the final product, one that mars so many other recent McFarlane figures we got last year, and the Dark Knight Trilogy Batman figure may suffer for it as well. Throughout 2022, several McFarlane figures were cursed with the dreaded and disdained side eyes, a method of painting the eyes to look in a specific direction rather than straight ahead. 
Todd McFarlane himself explained this method as saying that he wanted the figures to look more alive rather than dead and stoic by just looking forward. Most collectors find this more frustrating however as this limits the way the figure can be posed or displayed with other figures and settings. So the question with the Bale Batman prototype is, which one is it? It's literally too difficult to tell, one eye is facing forward while the other is a little bit askew and McFarlane could fall in either direction in which to take it. The 3D render over at the New York Comic Con image during the slideshow showed all the figures in the wave looking forward but as the note at the bottom entails, they are subject to change, they are not a final product. So all we can really do at this point is wait to get official photos of the figure prior to those pre-orders going live. And for now, that really about does it for McFarlane Toys and what they have cooking in 2023 that we know about. And you may have noticed that there were some strong omissions for anything that really wasn't Batman related, such as anything that pretty much has to do with the Flash, that new wave of page punchers for Aquaman, and then, of course, all of the first party power players such as Spawn and McFarlane's Dragon. Dragons. And I didn't really talk about them because this is a Batman centric channel along with Spider-Man I'm really not going to be shedding any kind of light on those properties But that, that's not to say that McFarlane toys themselves won't do so 2023 is shaping up to be rather stacked with cool stuff Especially if you're a Batman fan when it comes to those Nolan figures Anything else that they have cooking possibly for Arkham Origins There were already some rumors and even potential leaks that maybe McFarlane might be bringing us a Batwing from the 89 movie along with a Keaton, possibly a Clooney, a Kilmer, who knows, but there's an awful lot of room to speculate and also to maybe draw some concern as far as those side eyes are regarded because that's something that I as a collector along with plenty of others are not a huge fan of and I'm hoping that they stray away from the things that a lot of collectors are very vocal about not liking and really gravitate towards the things that we do and listen a little bit more to the community because that's arguably something that McFarlane could definitely work on is listening to the community and really absorb that feedback because if they don't those side eyes could prove to be a bit of a slippery slope and that coupled with the long talked about discussion about McFarlane toys potentially raising their prices even if it's just by a couple of dollars through certain retailers then that's going to be another matter entirely what do you guys think so far as far as the calendar year of 2023 for McFarlane toys are you guys excited are you guys dubious let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about the recent leak for the Dark Knight Christian Bale Batman figure does it worry you do you think it looks cool do you think the proportions look a little weird or do you think that you want to hold reservations because the fact that it's more than likely a prototype I want to hear all your guys's insights below make sure to thumbs up this video if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't and as always guys stay humble I'll see you later